Today I'm going to share with you seven tips on finding the ideal tenant. Number one, you want to make sure that they have a good credit score. So you want to run their credit history and see how responsive they've been in paying past bills because that's a good indication of how they're going to be in the future. Tip number two, you want to make sure that they have a steady income. So you want to check for pay stubs, bank statements, even call their current employer and see how long they've been on the job because if they have a good steady income, you're more likely to get paid at the end of the month. Tip number three, you want to make sure that they have a positive rental history. So I wouldn't call their current landlord because that landlord may be eager to get rid of them and it's going to give them a glowing review. I would go back one landlord prior and see what their experience was like and if they would re-rent to them and that's a good indication of whether you're going to want them as a tenant. Tip number four, you're looking for someone with respectable behavior because that's usually an indication of whether they're going to take care of your property and how they're going to treat the neighbors and if you have a good tenant who respects the property and the neighbors, you're likely to not get complaints. Tip number five, you want a good tenant with good communication skills. You want someone who responds promptly and follows up with emails and phone calls because if there's any maintenance issues on the property, you're going to need to have those issues addressed and someone who communicates well will be able to address them in a timely fashion. Tip number six, you want to check their criminal history. This is really important because you want to make sure that you're aware of the type of person that you're dealing with and that they meet your standard. And tip number seven, if you're considering renting your property to a tenant that has a pet, you want to make sure that that pet is well-mannered and cleaned up after because the truth is if you don't take care of pets, they can destroy and damage property. So you may want to just stop by their home, meet that current pet, see if um, they're well taken care of and what they're like when new guests come to the house because if they're making noise, it's going to disturb other tenants.